hi guys welcome back to my channel yes guys today's gonna be super cool because today's another flight review and i know you guys love flight reviews i am in lagos right now and it's the 25th of december so it's christmas day i'm gonna be flying to london i'm gonna go back klm which is an airline i've not used in a very long time so i'm actually very excited to see how klm is in comparison to the other airlines like air france and um, British Airways and Virgin. Have you guys flown KLM before? Let me know in the comments below if you've flown them and what you think about KLM. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sassy Funke. I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle content creator based here in Lagos, Nigeria. I create videos about travel, like from travel vlogs, giving you travel tips to a lot of flight reviews. So if you're really all about that and you think that would be of some interest to you, please 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 subscribe like, hit that subscribe button that red button and also hit the bell notification button right, right beside it this ensures that you always get my content because youtube is going crazy nowadays that people are watching videos and seeing their content creators um content because they're not being notified so make sure you click that button and ensure your settings are okay yeah i really hope you enjoyed this flight review and if you do please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you want me to do more of them thank you and let's go traffic at all traveled to the airport which was great and the reason why I actually chose to travel Christmas Day is because there's no more traffic and the tickets are much cheaper than the day after Christmas. Check-in was really really easy and quick. There was a gentleman that came to meet us on the KLM line and the KLM line was actually so long and he basically took us to the Air France sort of business line where there was actually nobody checking in there which was really nice and really sweet so big ups to KLM you know, for doing that. I think he was just being nice to us. Maybe we dressed nicely or something, but that saved us so much time because by the time we left, like 10 minutes later, after we finished checking in, people were still waiting like 30 minutes in the other line. So big up to Kayla. You know, just be nice on Christmas Day. That was great. Security was very smooth. It was very quick. I'm now at the lounge. I just ordered myself some jello fries, chicken and plantain, and I'm drinking some NSC and apple. Just chilling here waiting for my flight. So, so far, so good. On arriving on the plane, I noticed the, you know, sort of the blue KLM colors. And it's interesting because I booked Economy Comfort, which is different from Economy. And Economy Comfort essentially is actually the same as Economy, just that the leg room space is much bigger. Like nothing else is different. It's pretty much exactly the same seats, just leg room a little bit bigger. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the items that were given to us on the plane. We're given a white pillow, which was very comfortable, and also a blue blanket. I'm a fan of blankets on planes because I get very cold, and it's lovely that it was in KLM colors. Also, we got this headphones um, that were actually quite good, um, but they're very, you know, standard, and I guess it's economy, so what do you expect? 
and the part right in front of me was first of all a safety briefing which is very useful to read through <laughs> then a travel magazine called the holland herald which is great when you want to learn about travel and also a sky high magazine if you want to buy anything on the flight so that was great to have Not long after takeoff, we received some water, also a 10 euro voucher just because it's, you know, the Christmas spirit, so which was really lovely actually. It's a small amount, a very thoughtful amount actually. And finally a refresher towel, which was very lovely to have. When it was time to serve our dinner, I got some orange and unfortunately there was only one meal option, which was a beef option that was available. I didn't know this and I don't really eat beef. So it was really lovely what happened next because the lady took my meal back and actually went and bought me some food from business class. She got me this corn soup and this hot bread that were absolutely delicious. As in, it's, it was so delicious. Like business class is the life. To the in-flight entertainment system, I forgot that it wasn't a touch screen for a second, um, but I had to use my control. So it's a bit of an old system, but the movies available on there were actually quite decent. So I decided next to review the bathroom or the toilet as you call it. The toilet in there was actually quite nice. It was clean. It seemed quite newish to be honest. I love the full length mirror. Um, but the cleanliness of it was quite nice to see and just very, I don't know, sleek look, uh, which was great. About two hours before landing, we got served with our breakfast meal, which was one fruit salad, then there was a French toast, also some yogurt, which I love completely, salted butter, some water, and I love the way the napkin was tied, that was really nice, and I had some tea with lemon. Connecting at the Amsterdam airport for my flight to London Heathrow was very easy. Um, there were display screens everywhere, there were signposts everywhere, very clearly labeled and easy. The security was very futuristic, very modern. I felt very at home at this airport and I actually wish I had more time to explore, which I didn't. There was a lot of places where you could eat, there were places where you could get information. Um, everything was just there for you, which I really loved. here at the car park waiting for my uber to take me into town just a quick debrief of my flight it was a pretty quick flight it was my first time traveling to amsterdam through amsterdam to london and amsterdam is such a beautiful airport like so beautiful super super impressed overall klm was nice it was a good it's a, it's a good airline like the fact that obviously that i bought the business class food was a good highlight for me to be honest but overall it was really really it was good i was just surprised that when they were serving us dinner at sort of the cutlery it was a little bit i was surprised about how it was set up whereby they had a, a mat given to us that was a bit awkward something new the plane wasn't the newest plane to be honest but overall 
it wasn't bad. And also the flight wasn't full, which meant that we could actually move around and exchange seats. Um, economic comfort, I think it is nice to have that, you know, extra leg room space. But it did feel similar to economy because there wasn't much of a difference. It wasn't like the meals were different, everything was the same. It's just like having longer, more But would I fly KLM again? To be honest, if I get a chance to fly through Amsterdam, definitely I will because I'll love to check out the airport a little bit more. A beautiful airport, as I said before. But overall, it was a good flight, it was smooth. My luggage took forever. Luckily, it took me over an hour to, or maybe two hours to actually get my luggage out, which was annoying. But aside from that, I had a good flight, safely here. London's a little bit cold, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, leave a comment, you know, like this, subscribe, and I will see you on my next video.